What's up, y'all? We're back with Dragon's Dogma 2 today, and there's still part of me that's a little bit surprised this game got nominated for RPG of the Year. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's gonna win because of the competition. Like, I feel like... I feel like the Elden Ring deals... I, I don't know how a DLC can be RPG of the Year, though. I don't get how a DLC can be RPG Game of the Year, though, when it's a DLC to an already existing game. But hey, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. And while we're at it, Final Fantasy should be disqualified for being a PlayStation exclusive. I don't have any reasons for that. I'm just a hater. <laughs> Final Fantasy, you're disqualified. Dragon's Dogma 2 for ever actually like a dragon should win. <laughs> I would personally, I would personally, if I had played it, I would probably be voting for like a dragon. Is this guy going to evacuate? Oh, I successfully evacuated him. Okay, so I guess the people, all these elves are going to evacuate. We didn't even really have to argue with them. They just figured it out themselves. So they're going to get out of here. They're evacuating from RPG game of the year. Do I think that Dragon's Dogma should win though? I mean, I just said I probably would have voted for like a dragon. So probably not. But Dragon's Dogma was pretty good. But I think because it came out in such a busted state, it really doesn't have much of a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people still have pretty sore feelings towards Dragon's Dogma. I want to switch into... Hold on, y'all. I want to switch into being Thief again. I miss being Thief. Do I still have all my skills? Concussive Leap, Implicate, Powder Blast, Skull Splitter. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't know. I just... I need this for... I need it for the mobility of doing these evacuations. So we've evacuated these guys. Uh, who's next? Hi, can I give you a... Here, I got more gifts for you. Sorry, the cat boy ended up being my, my number one love, and I don't really like that very much. She just say good when I gave her flowers. That's weird. It's looking very red and spooky out here, boys. Let's go fight ourselves another Purgener because apparently we've successfully evacuated this village. Okay, so this is not going to take all that long at all. Let's go do the one in Vermond first or in Vernworth first. We'll go there. We'll deal with it. All the rich people can be happy. Let's go figure out how to get into the fight, everybody. We're going to go fight a Purgener. Woohoo! Yippee! What's down there? Oh, look at him. He's just sliding. <laughs> oh! He felt he fell a long way, bro. That looked like it hurt. Let's make our way over there, pawns. We're gonna have to do some fighting. We'll probably get some fairy stones on the way though. So at least at least like we're we're gonna get somewhere with this. What is this? Some sort of okay. Okay, buddy. Does this thing wanna stop hovering where none of my things can touch it? That would be great. Bro, can I implicate it? It's cheating. It's it's absolutely come on. Okay, I don't want it to I don't want it to call for spirits. I don't know what this thing is. This is a writ. Is this a wraith? I don't remember what they're called. All I know is he's really annoying and I kind of wish I had my warrior abilities now. Where's he going, bro? You can't just hover up there. We can't climb. Okay, what a stupid enemy, bro. Is he gonna come back down or is he just gonna... Okay, Capcom needs to understand something. This is an issue I have with every single Capcom game, bro. You can't put enemies in the air and then give people no way to attack the enemies. That doesn't make it fun. That just makes it silly. Like, what are we supposed to do about this? Do we just wait? Oh, she's coming back down. Okay. Y'all should know I'm playing and I'm used to Dragon Age controls now, so I don't know what I'm doing. This is such a Capcom moment. This is such a Capcom moment. Enemy in the air, standing around, doing absolutely nothing, waiting for the enemy to stop being in the air. Come on, bro. Just, like, get down just a little bit lower. I beg of you. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now we're just gonna spam Skull Splitters until this thing dies, because I'm tired of dealing with it. <laughs> Uh, Capcom. It was it was only difficult because it stayed in the air way too long. The second it came down from the air, it was over, brother. I'm out of curatives. We're gonna do this anyway. Let's hope I don't die. Here he comes, hailing from. Am I gonna do the Sky of Nevada thing again? Probably not. This time we're fighting an actual dragon. It looks like Kieran from Monster Hunter, but bigger and purplier, and um, a little bit more evil actually. Where where is his? Okay, get down here. Get down, get down here. Drop that arm. Drop that arm, baby. I need to pop those pimples that you got there. Either that or I just do this. Let me just get on these ones. This is the way to do it. This is the way. I forgot that I have this as well. And then we just got a bah! Got him. I like the dragon purgeners the most. They're the coolest. They're the coolest ones. They're always so angry. Like, they're extra special angry, too. And you don't have to pop individual pimples. You just kind of you just kind of get in here, start throwing hands, and make him get rock hard. It's all going to be good. We don't need Stam where we're going, bro. Oh, God, maybe we do. Okay, I would love to help Frederick, but this thing has decided that I am not allowed to help Frederick. So, there we go. Now I can help Frederick. He didn't like the Skull Splitter. He does not like it one bit. No, not today. I'm too quick for you. I'm too quick for you. What part of too quick don't you understand? Come on, man. Get out of the sky. I don't got any flash pods in this game. Otherwise, you would be down here already. Maybe maybe I go up on his back. 
Maybe, maybe this will deal with him. Let me just get down here. There we go. There we go, buddy. Get out of the sky. With me on your back still. Not really necessarily ideal, but hey, it is what it is. What do we even have left to hit? Oh, this? All right, I can do that. I can do that for sure. There we go. Just work it in his back. Work it into his back like this. Come on, Long. Get up here and work the bag with me. We're throwing back shots in, my brother. We're throwing back shots in together. We got it. He's going to harden up. He's going to harden up. It's really, really... There we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> what is the uh, what is the predicament on him? Is it just the horn? Is it just the horn? Might just be the horn. I don't know what bro's doing. We're, we're, we're really we're really giving it to that horn, though. Absolutely killed him. That thing got worked. Playing as Thief is way easier, bro. Way, way easier. Don't let anyone ever tell you that Thief isn't the cheater class. Thief is definitely the cheater class. Compared to fighting one of these large monsters that moves around quick as Warrior, that was easy peasy. At least when you got to target the pimples, you know? At least when you got to target the pimples. When you're not trying to pop pimples and be a dermatologist, it isn't as big of a deal. Yeah, you know what? I think it will be enough to stall the Red Clouds advance for a while, Frederick. I think that you're uh, you're exactly on point there, my guy. It, it will be enough. We should probably get the people from Vernworth to evacuate first. Let's get up to Vernworth and have a look there. I got enough of these, these fairy stones to blow. I don't really care about using one of them to go evacuate some people right now. I think that that's totally a-okay. That was a good fight. I enjoyed that fight. There's some stuff with Disa, I think, that you have to do. I don't really remember. I'm I'm very blank on how the situation was with this. Maybe we'll go talk to Brand and see if he can shed some light on the situation. I'm sure he's hanging out here having a drink. Uh, so I gotta go... I gotta go talk to my boy up at the... I gotta go talk to... What's his name? What was the region kid's name? Sven? We have to go talk to him really quickly and then tell him, like, yo... Your mom was a bad person, but she did it out of love. So can you please evacuate everybody before they die? Yeah, Frederick, I don't think you need to adopt the most effective stance to recuperate your strength, my guy. I think you can just wait there normally. I'm just going in to talk to one little guy and tell him that his mom is a freak, but he needs to get everybody evacuated in a hurry. Why is it so laggy in here? There isn't even anything in here. I need you to evacuate everybody. So I gotta go get some ox carts and I have to go talk to his mom and convince her to leave too. Oh my God, bro. You're so needy, Sven. You're, you're the king. You should be able to do this yourself. I have important business to attend to. I have to go talk to some ox cart freak and tell him to give us the ox cart so that y'all can evacuate. Because apparently nobody in Dragon's Dogma, that's the thing that gets me about this game. Nobody really knows the Arisen, right? But nobody can accomplish anything without me. Like, I gotta do all the work for everybody. It would it would be nice if, like, at least one person would just do their job on their own without me having to go play errand boy or without me having to go literally do their job for them. Honestly, you, you think about saving the people of the Dragon's Dogma world and then you think about how useless they are and how you've had to carry them through all this. And then it's got me thinking, why does the Pathfinder even want these people to be alive, bro? Like, they, they are honestly, they can't help themselves. Yeah, you know what? I don't really... Then give us the ox carts, bro. Great. Okay, we did it. We got we got the ox carts from Allard because Mr. Allard ran away. Time to go back upstairs. There's a lot of fetch questing that we're doing right now. A lot of fetch questing. RPG of the year level fetch questing. I will tell you that much. Ah, the castle is still very laggy. Capcom, fix this. Fix this shenanigans at once. I have procured the ox carts. Okay, well, I'm going to go kill your mom because she's being really un unreasonable right now. I don't mind. Good. Hey. Look, I need you to come with me for a minute. Your son is being unreasonable. I go I'll show him the situation. He's going to he's going to understand that we don't have any choice. She's she died a really tragic heroic death. Uh You slew my mother. Sorry, bro. Sorry, dude. It's all that I knew how to do. I'll even revive her. She's fine. She's coming back. I, your mom's not really dead, bro. I brought her back to life. So I did what I needed to do. I evacuated the people of Vernworth. Fantastic. And Disa didn't even have to die, bro. I just killed her a little bit. She just had a little bit of death to teach her a lesson. Just a little, just a taste. Just a little, just a little snack of death, you know? Just so that she... <laughs> I can't believe I had to do that and then show her corpse to her son. That's messed up. Let's get a nice area for the final, for the final here. All right, yo. I will, uh... Okay, wow, Sphinx Mother, way to way to run right in front of the camera. I will see y'all on Saturday for a little bit of sleeping dogs. Until then, have a great end of your week. Until the next one, peace.